Oh, I have questions. nothing to say. What, what, are the, uh, <laughs> what were the various coaching adjustments and things you were thinking through when Luca and then shortly after Jalen both pick up five? Uh, never been in that situation before, so um, next man up, Trey is next. Frank, Josh, those guys did a great job in the third quarter of uh, keeping it together on the offensive end and defensive end. And so uh, it just shows that the, the coaching staff has done a great job of keeping guys ready uh, when they don't play. And I thought Trey was a perfect example of that. Um, he came in and ran the show and kept, that, kept us going in the right direction. How did you figure out when to bring Luca and, and JV back into the game? Yeah, that that was, uh, you know, I thought the 10 minute mark, I wasn't going to bring both at the same time just in case there was a foul called. So uh, Luca was first, he sat the longest, uh, was the 10 minute mark um, for him. And uh, he came in and he, he did, I, I thought, again, it's hard to sit that long and have a rhythm, but I thought he did an incredible job um, not picking up his sixth foul, but also being aggressive and, and again, quarterback and finding open guys. Did you consider challenging either their fifth or even fourth fouls, given the situation? No, I, I thought the fifth foul was a foul. Uh, uh, Jalen's, uh, JB's, yeah, I could have, but also if you cho choose to challenge that and they find something that uh, it can create a foul and you lose it and now you don't have that or a timeout going into, I believe it was going to be a close game coming down the stretch. Um, so uh, the thought process is that the next guy was going to hold us together, and that was Trey. And I thought Trey, Frank, and, and, and Greeny did an incredible job out there. And Dorian, we played him the whole game. Uh, <laughs> I thought he did a great job, too. He had great looks, and we all believe that those are going to go down for us. But I, for him to play 42 minutes and uh, guard everybody, he did an incredible job. Did you think about Reggie on the way he's just continues to prosper in the in the starting role? Yeah, I think uh, he's doing everything. We've asked him to guard. We're asking him to rebound. We're, we asked him to start the first play in a pick and roll. Um, we were joking that um, JB had his chance at playing point guard. Now we're going to try Reggie uh, right before the game. So um, just to have some fun, Reggie did a great job. Uh, again, he's answered the call for us. Uh, we know he had great looks early in the season that didn't fall, but um, I think just the, the belief and confidence that we have in him. Um, and then you can see our quarterbacks uh, are trying to find him, uh, which is kind of cool and, and fun in, in, that, in that respect to the game is that he's getting a lot of looks uh, because of Luca and JB finding him. I know there's no way of stopping a guy like uh, Trey Young, but uh, you guys seem to do about as good as you could against him. Yeah, the, the, the first half, I think he was one for eight. We just knew in the second half he was going to get more looks and he was going to try to get to the basket and, and get going. So that was going to put uh, a little bit more pressure on our defense. And I thought, the guys, you can't stop him. He's going to get good looks. Uh, you just hope that he can miss a couple at the right time. Um, and we got we were fortunate that he missed some. All right, we've got a couple on Zoom. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, Coach, when you look at Jalen and Luca picking up those fist fouls in that third quarter, how would you have reacted differently in the past knowing that that was a pivotal moment where both of those guys picked up those fouls, but also realizing at that moment a learning lesson for your team and for those guys? Would you have reacted differently in the past in that situation? No, I'm all about teaching. Um, a lot of people are into winning and losing. Um, I'm into teaching because there's a bigger picture. It can happen in the playoffs. It can happen in games. So, uh, everybody has to be ready. Um, there's no guarantee that Luca is not going to pick up four or five fouls. There's no guarantee that JB doesn't pick four or five fouls up. So there was a, a teaching moment for our team, and I think just it showed that we all trust each other, and that there's a lot of respect for you know someone that has set you know for Trey to sit there for so long and not have a rhythm and and, and an important game. Uh, to do his job, and that just that's that's a true pro, and you gotta tip your hat to him. Landon, hey Jason, with the way that Reggie Bullock has played the past couple of weeks or so on both sides of the ball, will you take a, a consideration of him remaining a starter once the team is healthy or close to being healthy? Everybody's a starter. 
Everybody's gonna get a chance to shot. This is AAU basketball. Everybody gets a ribbon and everybody gets to start. So um, we'll see. We'll see. He started at the beginning of the season. He started now. Um, we'll, we'll get healthy. We'll look at a couple more combinations, and then uh, we'll see who who brings the teacher at an apple um, to, to be able to get to start. Last one, Luke. Hey, Coach, it's hard, uh, it's hard not to notice Theo Pinson's um, activity on the bench, whether it's um, you know, calling out stuff on defense, being the first one up to give players high fives, things like that. Can you just talk about the energy that he brings, even from a non-playing perspective? Who asked this question? Luke? Luke, great question. <laughs> Incredible question. Um, that You noticed that or someone else told you to say that? No, I noticed that. Man, you're watching the game. Uh, Theo has been our MVP uh, since he's joined the team. His spirit, uh, what he's done, uh, he doesn't play a lot, uh, but he is into the game, and that, and we didn't have that. And, uh, and that's been a big part of our success um, internally is that uh, we needed someone to talk, and he's doing it for 60 minutes because he's talking in the locker room before the game, and then he's talking after. So he's, he's our MVP. He's the one. I mean, we understand Luca on the court is our MVP, but our spirit and our soul, you know, with uh, Theo has been off the charts, and we're lucky to have him. Have you ever seen a, a game where two players, two point cards, get five that early on? Uh, no, I haven't. I think, <clears throat> but I think we were playing hard. I don't think it was like just fouls that we were just getting. I think all three of us had 15 together, so, you know, that's something we got we to gotta clean up next game. But it shows that we was guarding at least. <laughs> what's, what's, uh, I mean, you've got to be thinking, you've got to be realizing as, as yeah. you go to J, JD get the fifth, and it's like, you know, you know that there's an extended stretch coming up for you. Yeah, uh, that was telling, everybody was telling me to stay ready, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know it was going to be five and five, five fouls, five fouls, or to where, you know, it was going to be, that type of opportunity, right? But, you know, that's the nature of this league. We always talk about it. Um, you know, sometimes when you're not in a rotation, you got to still find a way to mentally stay engaged and involved. Um, I think my teammates know what I can bring and the, 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 where my value lays in this team, and, and vice versa. So for me, it's just going out there and playing my game, being myself. I think I was a little jittery tonight. Missed a couple of shots. I feel like I could have made, but I, overall, I think you know we we held it down. You know, until they came back. So it goes through your mind then when you get your fifth foul too. <laughs> Is it just like just jail at don't try not to. I, I try not to think about it honestly. I tried to still be aggressive, but no reaching at all. I tried to keep my hand out of that jar. You know what I mean? But um, when I got my fifth, it was kind of like, oh man, we all gonna foul out. Look like, <laughs> but uh, nah, it was. <clears throat> I think it was it was good for us to 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 be able to play through that type of adversity. You know, knowing the type of team that we have, it, it may happen again. So guys, gotta be ready. Jason mentions that situations like this are a good way for you guys to build towards the playoffs because you never know exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah. In, in what ways have you seen him challenge the team in different ways? Um, what maybe it's the way he sets things up or the way that he runs certain things as as a look toward the playoffs? Because I've noticed that he tends to. To yeah. do that, even though it is a one game at a time. Well, right sometimes there's different lineups out there, um, and uh, I think in practice he tries to do, do that as well. Throw different lineups together, and we're playing against each other. The, um, you know, we've had limited practices uh, up to this point, mm -hmm. um, but I think in the last week or two we've had about three or four, and uh, we got an opportunity to kind of go against each other. And in those practices, you know, there are different units of different guys that are playing together. Um, so we're still building that chemistry outside of the first five and the second five. Like you said, sometimes it'll be a mixture of both in there, and uh, we got to know how to play together. All right, we got one on Zoom, and then we'll go. Okay. Come on, go ahead. Hi, Trey. Uh, obviously, you're just comfortable in these situations, and you've shown that before, but can you talk about this team as a whole in these next man up situations and being able to weather the storm, especially against a team like the Hawks, which is so offensively gifted? Yeah. I think it just shows the growth for, for, for our team. We're a young team um, collectively, uh, but uh, some some nights it's going to be like that. Some nights guys have to be ready to play. You know, the next game it might be Moses that you know gets extended minutes, and uh, I think that's just that's how this league goes. You can never kind of predict any game. Every game has its own flavor. So 
you know, as professionals, you know, you got to be willing to go out there and, and be yourself. You know, even sometimes when you don't know <laughs> when the opportunity is going to come. I think that's the toughest part, but, uh, you know, we made, we, we made it work. You know, win is the bit, most important thing in this, in this business. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. Good job. All right, we've got J.D. sitting in the elevator. Okay, let me report that right. Just, just the mindset of just being able to knock it down. Um, I know my teammates is going to find me to be able to, you know, shoot the ball. I just have to shoot, shoot it with confidence, like I've been doing, and and they believe in me to take that shot, and I just have to continue taking it. And what were you thinking when Luca goes out with five fouls, then JB goes out with five fouls? Like it's basically like you and Dorian, and like we're the only two guys that have been regularly starting. You yeah. know, how were you guys able to weather that uncertainty for over a quarter? Um, this team deep, and you know what I'm saying. So I felt like you know Trey came in, gave us a big lift, pushing in the transition, uh, kicking it out to shooters. He was aggressive on the offensive end too, you know, trying to get to a shot. Um, and coach I always harp about it, and speak about it all the time. Uh, when the player goes down, next man up, and we've been having that mindset, and everyone on the team just waiting for the opportunity. Did you see that uh, steal for the breakaway coming, or did you kind of have an uh, idea what they were going to do with that? Um, I read it a little bit. I mean, I knew it was just one person at the top of the key that he could possibly go after, and I just, you know, shot the passing lane, shot through the passing lane, and ended up getting a steal. But, um, you know, I mean, that's what they brought me here for, to be, you know, a two-way player. And, uh, you know, I just try to be tough on the defensive end and take my shot when I get it on the offensive end. Do you think your shooting improvement is tied to volume whatsoever? This is this game in the past two is the first time you've had double digits in mm -hmm. the past. Yeah, definitely. Definitely volume. Um, definitely want to just, you know, as long as I, you know, put up the attempts, I feel like I'm going to knock them down. So, uh, And I feel like every shot that I shoot should go in. So I just got to continue to keep that confidence. Like I said, I um, believe I'm one of the best shooters in the league and just trying to stay on that. I guess just like the more shots you take, the easier it is to be confident. You know they're coming. You know more chances are coming. Is, is that right, right, yeah, yeah. Is? Definitely yeah. I know that. You know, teams are going to try to run me off the line. I got to make a play for somebody else, relocate. I'm going to mm -hmm. get the attempts. And it's just all about me just staying consistent and knocking them down. Being kind of short on big guys, and then look at two. Did you yeah. put in more emphasis on the rebound tonight? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Coach talked about it. You know, with some of the, our bigs being out, um, moving me down to the four, Doe down to the four, us helping rebounding with the bigs, um, it's huge for us. So, uh, and it makes us play a lot faster too. And then on the offensive end, I got a four on me, drive them, or you know, shoot over them or whatever. So. Uh, as long as we just keep playing like that, when we can go small ball four, um, it's good for us. How important is this stretch of home games before you uh, leave for All Star break next weekend? <clears throat> it's very important. Um, it's a lot of it. A lot of teams in the league, you know, probably planning and getting ready for All Star. Um, but we just got to keep chipping away at these games. Try to win as many as we can. It put us in a great position when we get back from the break. We've got a couple on Zoom. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, Reggie, not just your own individual confidence, but what would you say is the confidence the level of this team right now, quality wins against the Sixers and now against Atlanta and the way that you guys have been playing? What would you say is the confidence level of this team right now? Um, I think it's high. Uh, we knew that we dropped two games uh, before these two that we just picked up. Um, I know we got away from our defensive principle for a little bit, so these last two games we've been you know, trying to hold teams under 100 points or so just trying to make it tough for them on every possession. And we did under 100 tonight, so um, it's huge for us. What you see on the box score? Bunch of numbers and names. I'm I'm avoiding the fouls and the turnover column. That's what I'm avoiding right now. But uh well sorry to ask a question about that then, but have you ever seen a game where you know, Luby gets his fifth foul less than a minute into the second half? You a couple minutes later, and then Trey, the third point guard, you know, in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Never seen that before. Um, it's really not not a lot to be said about it, but it's just it's really interesting. That's all. Okay, so so you get your fifth, and you go over, and I think Luca gives you a hug. And was it kind of like welcome to the club or something? Yeah, I was very tempted to push him away from me too because I was I was heated at the time, but. Um, yeah, 
He was happy I got my fifth. I was like, you make no sense right now. <laughs> he just wasn't alone then. Yeah. <laughs> did, you have a, did you have any say or, or combo with the coaching staff about when you would come back in, or was that all them? That was all them. Okay. Um, uh, they put us in position to be successful, um, night in and night out. And um, I, didn't, I didn't ask any questions. Um, just the ball was in their court, and uh, whenever my number was called, I was ready to go. Jason mentioned that he notices you and Luca trying to find Reggie more um, on offense. What have you thought about his last run, especially since Tim's been injured, and, and the way that he just seems to have kind of taken that next step in, in what he's comfortable and confident with? Yeah, um, Reggie's playing really well. Um, He's, uh, he's been getting open a lot. He's been uh, knocking on a shot. And, um, so, obviously, when we see him with the slither room, we, uh, we want to hit him and um, give him the ball. And um, it's not just him, it's, it's everyone. Whenever we, whenever we play with the ball moving around, popping around, um, guys, have, guys have confidence in everyone to make shots or make plays. And um, I think as teammates, everyone gives each other that sense of confidence to do what you can, do what you do. And, um, I mean, no matter what happens, we're going we're gonna to go back and play defense. You took five threes. That's the most you've had since Christmas. Uh, random, or is that an emphasis? Both. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> that makes uh, a lot of sense. Yeah. I, most of Christmas, really? Yeah, yeah. Your four were, I think, a season high that you made. Yeah, I think that too. But yeah, in attempts, definitely have it up right here. It's, uh, yeah, hmm. Christmas. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot more <laughs> next time. What did Jason, Jason said there's something we needed to ask. Uh, oh, yeah, what the next little facet of your game is that's going to be open, be able to open it up for you. He wouldn't tell us what you're working on. So maybe you will. I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it to watching. myself. I'll keep watching that. We'll, we'll see. You found out that you came to me about my game around Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I'll see if you find it next time. Okay. See if okay. you find it next time. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Um, we'll see what he can do. I mean, Collins always gives an average fits, but but uh, you guys seem to do a real not a really good solid job on Trey Young. What were you, what was the game plan going against him? Um, just contain him. Um, he's so dynamic. You know, gets others involved. And, uh, he's able to uh, get by you, step back, create space. You know, he's he knows how to um, get to his spots, get open, and basically do whatever he wants with the ball. So um, it's not an easy game plan, but I think for us, it wasn't just one-on-one -on -one defense. Um, it was just more of a playing together, you know, play, being on the string on defense, really helping each other out. Um, not just worrying about the first option, but the second and third. You know, just those, um, when plays broke down or things started to happen, there's just rotating and things like that. So um, defensively, we were able to communicate and talk, and. Um, just um, didn't let him go off to a certain extent. Uh, we got one on Zoom. Luke, go ahead. Uh, it's hard not to notice Theo Pinson's energy on the bench and whether it's you know him calling out stuff on defense or being the first one up, clapping and cheering. Um, Coach Kidd earlier here said that he was the team's MVP. Can you just talk about his impact, even just from a bench perspective? Yeah, um, Theo's bench presence has been known throughout the league for a couple of years now. Um, whether he's in the game or on the bench, his energy is top notch. And um, that goes back to him being even in high school. I remember in high school, he is the same person with the same energy. And so he's never changed and he's um, always been that genuine person who really just cares about you know, how others are doing. And um, he cares that he, he truly embodies being a good teammate. He, uh, when people say they'll do whatever for the team to be successful, no, he really means it. And um, to see that, to have him as a teammate now, it's great. I've known him for a while now, and um, it's just, it, get, it gives me energy. It gives everyone energy, and um, I just, we love having him. Cool. That'll do it. Thanks, JB. Thank you, guys. Thanks, JB. Yep. We are off tomorrow, so no practice, and we will be in touch before.